New research shows that the last time the volcano erupted was after two large influxes of magma filled the reservoir under the caldera, and that process may take less time than previously thought. About 630,000 years ago, a powerful eruption took place in what is now Wyoming. This explosion spewed 240 cubic miles of rock and ash, creating the Yellowstone Caldera, a volcanic depression spanning most of the national park. The The supervolcano under Yellowstone has been mostly dormant for tens of thousands of years, the last large eruption filled the caldera with ash and lava around 70,000 years ago, well before people had migrated to the continent. New research from Arizona State University shows that the last time the volcano erupted was after two large influxes of magma filled the reservoir under the caldera, and that process may take less time than previously thought. The current theory has its origins in a 2013 study that concluded the reservoir is 2.5 times larger than previous estimates, and since it drains after every massive explosion, geologists thought it would take a long time to refill. But when scientists analyzed the minerals in fossilized ash from the most recent mega-eruption, they found that critical changes in temperature and composition happened in a matter of decades, not centuries. Yellowstone is one of the most closely watched volcanoes in the world. There is a whole suite of sensors and satellites that track any and all detectable changes. For now, at least, geologists aren't terribly concerned. Some researchers interpret a new timeline of some of the formation's biggest eruptions as evidence that its activity is waning. The volcano below Yellowstone National Park is among the largest on the planet and has a history of generating huge eruptions. There have long been fears, many exaggerated, that it is only a matter of time before it blows, taking much of North America with it. <laughs>